Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be here with my lovely sister, Brianna. We're gonna be trying out this foundation by ColourPop. It's called the Pretty Fresh Foundation. And yeah, if you guys wanna keep seeing it. <laughs> Wait a minute, cut. <laughs> Making an intro is hard. Okay, take two, action. Hey guys, it's Brie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have my sister Savannah here. Hello. And she's gonna be doing a foundation review with us. So we're gonna try out this foundation. And if you, you sound guys so keep... fake. How do I sound fake? Like <laughs> That's not. That's not how you talk. It's not really how you talk. You say to I want you to talk regular. What is regular? So if you guys want to see how we did this foundation, you want me to talk like that? Yeah. All loose, like a real thug. <laughs> Just do whatever you want. Come channel. on. What? I don't. <laughs> I feel like on. my voice is not enough now. It's always enough. Your voice deserves to be heard. <laughs> don't touch my neck. Blink. <laughs> Anytime I'm with Savannah, I can't take anything serious because everything is a joke to me. <laughs> Literally. I'm a joke. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> We're just gonna give you our, our first impressions of this foundation. The foundation retails for $16, okay? It's a little steepity steep 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 to me. Not to me. It, ColourPop, for me, is a little pricey, but we can get past that. So you're telling me you bought a $100 palette, you, but this foundation is steep. You damn is steep. skippy. You damn This is why I don't have what? time for her. But this I always why, have time. This is why I don't have time Come here. for her. Come here, let me explain something. Go okay. back. Go if back. You're gonna set your if you're gonna set your bar here and be a drugstore product, I expect this to be where you stay. I don't want you creeping up and trying to make your way into high-end makeup prices. I think for ColourPop, $16 is steep. So we're both gonna be on opposite sides of the spectrum. She thinks it's, what, affordable? Yes. It's the same price as the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. I'm pretty sure this one is like, this one might be cheaper actually. I could be wrong, but it might be by a couple cents. It's about to get a $16 review. That's what's about to happen. Just keep watching. Because at this point, I'm so extra. <laughs> so extra for no reason. Just stay tuned. We're going to get into it now. My skin has been kind of dry lately, so I'm kind of dabbling with the glowy foundations because I'm sick of looking crusty and I want to look glowy over the summer. But my skin kind of gets oily around the T-zone a little bit, so hopefully this will work out for me. Savannah didn't want to get up and pick the foundation shades with me, so I pretty much was in the store guessing both of our shades without swatching them or anything. So anyway. if her shade doesn't match, if my shade doesn't match, then... It is what it is. Blame it on COVID. Period. So the foundation is supposed to be medium buildable coverage and it's supposed to create a healthy skin-like finish. So like I'm here for a it. natural foundation. I think that's the vibe I want. Has hyaluronic acid in it, coconut water to hydrate the skin and soften the skin. Yeah, a lot of people say coconut water makes you break out. We'll find out. If I break out tomorrow, then I'm blaming this. You like the packaging? Yeah, I actually really like the packaging. Nice it's simple. And, yeah, it's simple. It's simple. But it doesn't look too drugstore-y either. I like, like, I like matte bottles. I like the matte bottle. Kind of looks like, you know, Fenty matte with the white top. A little bit. The writing on it is not cheesy. It's cute, real cute. Here we go. I'm gonna start with it on my face. I know people hate this, but I like The ghetto. Ooh, already it looks like a good shade. Yeah. You gonna use a beauty blender for the whole thing? Yeah. I don't like using brushes anymore. Excuse me. I like using, oh, okay. Wait a minute now. Okay, let me put my ears back. This looks like a good match. Hold on, hold on, let me blend it in my neck. It's, does it smell like anything to you? I it did really, earlier. I can't really smell much. I can I feel a little bit of tingling. It's tingling? I don't know, like. It's I just, in your head. Maybe it's because of the hyaluronic acid. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> Is it? Now you're... Now you're kind of making me feel like I'm tingling. I don't know. Are you Does tingling it look like I'm real? getting bumps on my face? Where? Like... Was that there? I don't know. <laughs> I don't God. know. Okay, Savannah, I'm not 
gonna think about it. I'm not gonna think about it. Cause if I'm getting an allergic reaction, it's already, it's already happening. I think it's all in my head, I think so. I like this so far. I think this looks like definitely medium coverage. It's not full coverage at all. But, oh. Mm -hmm. That's what you get for pumping it on your face like a psycho. Wait, no, my dress. I just like doing it this way. It's not sanitary. What you do you mean it's not people? sanitary? I'm just dropping it on my face. It's just tacky. That's what it is, it's tacky. But I like being tacky sometimes. It's not like I'm doing somebody else's makeup and just dropping it on their face like that. This is literally disappearing into my skin. And I'm here for the shade match. It's pretty nice. They did good. I'm not gonna lie. Finish looks pretty. This is definitely a natural finish. I don't feel like it's glowy or anything like that. And I don't feel like it's matte. It's definitely very natural. Yeah, like I could like wear this like on a day like- Like every day Like basis. a morning shift. Right. Like something quick. But the question is, how is it gonna last? Like, how are we gonna hold up throughout the day? I don't think it says how long it's supposed to last. How are we gonna wear? Am I gonna look oily at the end of this? So I pretty much did one pump here, one pump there, a little bit on the middle. I just did like about two pumps. I cover it up pretty much everything. You like the shade match? Yeah. Matches my neck pretty well. Originally, I was gonna pick up the neutral shade for Savannah. What was it, 170? 170 N. Yeah, that shade looked so pink through the bottle, so I went ahead and got her warm instead, and I think that looks good on you. Yeah. I'm gonna add another layer, just because I feel like being extra. I'm too scared to add another layer, so I'm just gonna add another to... accident. I'm just gonna let that be. Not me, we're going all in right here. Okay, okay. second layer looks good to me. It's buildable, but it doesn't make me feel like cakey. Mm, I like it. It does look really natural. I'm just scared to see how oily it's gonna make my skin yeah, look. Yeah, that's what I'm concerned about too. Like I feel like I'm gonna have to powder my face real good. I like it. I like it too so far. I think it, I think it looks nice. This is like the drugstore pro. So anything that you need to know about drugstore products, she'd know. How would you compare this to your NYX? I feel like if I didn't want, cause the, the, the NYX is a little bit, a little heavy. Yeah. So if I didn't want a heavy foundation, I would just wear this one. Like if I was in a rush, I would just like put it on my face really fast. Cause it's kind of like, it blended pretty nicely, pretty fast, easy. I also picked up the ColourPop concealer, the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. This is my first time trying this. And I think I've heard good things about this, so. But I think I picked the wrong color. So if it's a little too bright, there's nothing I can do to change it, but we're gonna go ahead and use it anyway. I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and then I'm gonna brighten with the Makeup Revolution oh Conceal and Define Infinite. Look at this, look how bright this is. <clears throat> I'll make it work. The shade range though on this foundation was really, really good from what I can see. I can tell immediately that the concealer is not the texture that I usually like. I like a more creamy, thicker concealer with a little bit more coverage. Now okay. what am I supposed to do? I feel like this when I want you in my world. So you want me to talk, but, but when I try to talk, I want you, you want to sing. myself. When I'm already someone's girl. Are you done? Mm-hmm. I think. I guess I'll see. <laughs> Five this is what I have to deal with. I've been stuck in quarantine with this. With this. With this. Do you see what I look like under my eye? It's way too bright. Well, why did you get it so light? Because like I freaking said, we couldn't swatch in the store. Well, did you look online? What is online gonna do? I don't know, give you a little bit of a reference? No, I didn't. Well then, I don't know what to tell you. Just don't tell me anything. Just let me blend in peace. Well, I think this looks pretty good with my concealer. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. 
You like it? Yeah, it looks really good. I feel like since I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup in quarantine, this might be what I'll wear. Just for like every day. Like I think I might buy this once it runs out. And that says a lot. Even though I thought it was making my skin tingle at first. Because you're dramatic. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. The whole family. I thought I felt the a tingle. whole family's dramatic. I thought I felt a tingle. And here she is, about to make y'all think she's breaking out instantly. See? And that's what happens when you watch certain reviews and people already have their mind made up about a product. Next thing you know, everyone's convinced that their face is gonna break out. Good thing we we it figured just, it out. It must have been some sort of cognitive. There was some effect. sort of mix up. There was it some must have been some sort of placebo effect. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I'm about okay. to set my under eyes with my Makeup Revolution Banana Deep Powder. I just darkened up my concealer a little bit and I used the Juvia's Place concealer in the shade 9. And that worked out because I was about to look crazy. We'll see how long this stuff lasts. Yeah, because I think we should definitely do a wear test to show y'all. Because I think a lot of foundations look good when they go on right away. I feel like ColourPop has gotten like more expensive like slowly, like every few months, they start inching up with these prices. And I'm like, well, what the hell is really going on here? <laughs> Are we affordable or not? I mean, I think $16 is reasonable. $16 for ColourPop seems like, what the hell do you have in here? What are y'all really doing? It's probably because of the hyaluronic acid, I would assume. I think I'm gonna just set my face in all the normal places that I set. I don't really wanna set all over the foundation. I'm just gonna set in the center of my forehead, down my nose, under my eyes, and around my smile lines, and I'm gonna leave everything else just as it is. So if I get a little shiny, then we'll I'm not trying to get shiny. Yeah, but we don't really have anything to do today. So, I mean, I don't wanna be oily around the house. I just lightly go around. I kinda like rub the bake. When I like wipe the bake off, I kinda just like, Dust it along my whole face. Smush it in there. Going in with my tried and true butter bronzer. I'm gonna use my Physicians Formula bronzer as well. Cause this bronzer is so good. But I'm like so close to you. And that's okay. Boop. <laughs> Did you just? <laughs> I'm sick of this. I'm sick. Look at this bronzer. This bronzer is so good. I know. But Physicians Formula, I mean, I we already knew this. Their um, black representation in their company was trash. Yeah. I mean, everyone was enjoying this bronzer. I don't think everybody was enjoying it. Not bronzer. everyone, but like Because a lot they of just people. came out with the bronzer. To be real, this bronzer, the shade, I really feel like it just came out within the past year. And they didn't really make any bronzer. They didn't make bronzers for black girls. No. They sure didn't. I feel like it came out more than a year ago. No, because I reviewed it. I have a review on my channel. If you would watch my channel, you would know. You know, you're not... This whole video... Roasted. Y'all, she's been trying me this whole video. <laughs> the whole video. I don't even know where to buy makeup from right now because I feel like I'm trapped. A lot of these companies... Their, their black representation within the company is just looking really, it's just looking really grim. It's looking really sad and really tragic. And I don't know if I should support them or not. Like Morphe right now is- Oh, Morphe is sad case. First of all, I like buying Morphe palettes, but I'm gonna have to, I'm really gonna have to start thinking twice because, because does Jeffrey own it? Somebody called him Jiggly Sprinkles. So does Jiggly Sprinkles own Morphe? Does he have ownership? Does he have stakes in it? Like what, what is it? I mean, it? that would make sense though, as to why they won't. Why have they not dropped his stuff? So I feel like as far as Morphe goes, I'm not gonna be able to buy their stuff anymore. And I like their stuff, but I feel like they've been a little shady for a while. Yeah, I like their palettes. I like their brushes, Yeah. but I can always go get brushes from BH Cosmetics if it comes down to it. I think it already has come down to it. The decision is made. I think I'm gonna have to cut Morphe. I don't wanna support anybody that has a racist past because I'm not willing to look past what he did years ago, what he said years ago, just he's because, done he'll, too many just because he's apologized. Like, I just don't care. He's done, I think it's like, 
he's done too much for people to really look past it in my opinion i think i'm seeing a little bit of creasing on my face already right in here and i'm not sure i just see a little bit of creasing just a little bit right here in my smile line that always happens not right away while i'm shooting a video usually it takes like a few hours that's a step that i usually don't do in my routine but i like how it looks i only do that if i'm like really trying to be snatchy snatched i do it because i think it cleans it up nicely yeah. and i'm too lazy look at your nose <laughs> what about it it's like snatched yeah okay mm -hmm. so far this this foundation is it's doing numbers <sighs> go ahead and say it <laughs> you know wow it's really giving me a no makeup makeup look that's and it matches amazing. you really good that's what it's giving me it look let me see in the mirror that yeah it's good stuff there it's good I what like do you it. other companies have to say right now huh yeah nothing $16? Crickets. I'll buy this again. I would definitely buy this again. Come on, ColourPop. Come through. But push. We're just going to have to see how it holds up. That's the only thing. If I get super oily, I'm going to be so upset. If I get oily, like, after a while, then, like, okay, cool. But if it's, like, been an hour and I get super oily... I think it's fair to do, like, a, a six-hour wear test. Because what we're not going to do is encourage anybody to wear their makeup for... An extended period of time yeah cuz we're not encouraging that on this channel okay cuz then if I was I'd be encouraging acne breakouts sadness I'm not gonna do that to y'all I feel like a good wear test is like a six to eight hour wear test or like a regular work day but there is no reason for somebody to be wearing foundation for 48 hours take it off let it go let it go um i'm going to put on my blush i know the last time you guys violated me no you but violated yourself okay <laughs> let's make that kidding. real clear we can kidding. all be honest in the comments <laughs> we saw what happened the last video you know, I was in. things got out of hand and it's okay but i've definitely been careful with my blush application she's so, grown so thank Growth. you thank you for that elevation thank you but um yes i did realize what it looked like in the camera after the fact so we're gonna try this again and that's all you can really ask for in this world is for people to grow and people to to make the necessary changes so you guys can watch as savannah applies her blush <laughs> okay you got this sis is everyone is everyone satisfied yeah, I'm just... no 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 what why would you put blush on your nose? I like putting blush on my For nose. What? Because it adds character. Don't stop. Stop it. D it I'm done now. <laughs> blush just does something to you, you know? Blush, blush ties in the look and it, it gives you that like flushed look where you're like, stop, no. I do think it's the camera though. It's not the camera. It's not the camera. You're telling me that my blush looks that bright right now. The camera was not at fault the last time, okay? And that is true. But so right now, do you see you how it's brighter? It's not. <sighs> Whatever, bro. Continue the video. We're gonna come back when we do our eyeshadow and have our lashes on and finish up with, you know, our final thoughts of how this application went. So far, so good. So yeah, so far, I think both of us are really, really, really happy. With what's going on here. Do you feel like you're creasing a little bit? Um, let me check. I'm not really creasing. I think it looks really good. I like it. I would give it a 10 out of 10. Ooh, a 10. A 10. I was a little skeptical at first, you know, I thought I felt a little, a little tingle in my skin, but I would give it a 10 out of 10. We can't give it a 10 out of 10 yet because we have to do the wear test. Oh, well for now, nine out of 10. You want to see what your eyeshadow? You like it? Thanks. I whipped this up real quick. Good stuff. Natural fresh beat over there. Yeah, you know, I kept it really neutral. I just used a nice little transition shade, threw on some lashes, did my little lip combo. I like about it. So right now it's like, what is it? 6.30? It's 6.30. It's 6.30 right now. We can come back around like five hour mark. 
Yeah, four so hours. Like Ten or eleven. It's not gonna be a full wear test, but I mean, you'll get the idea. You'll get the gist. You'll get the gist. We'll be back in a little while. Catch y'all later. And um, yeah, bye. bye. Okay, so it has been about four hours. Five, four and a half hours. Four and a half. Uh huh. So yeah, I like it. I like it too. It looks really, really good. Only thing, this little smile line area, but I usually get smile lines. So I'll just have to like make sure I actually set it well when I wear it. Yeah, I didn't put any powder on. I ate, I sat. You've got smile lines too. Yeah. Like right here. Mm -hmm. But it looks decent. This. This stuff is good. 10 out of 10. Two thumbs up. This shit right here. All right, bye y'all. Nice video. All right, one. <laughs> I'm so pleased with this makeup. Like, even though my skin gets oily throughout the day, what? It, where's the oil? I really don't have any complaints. This doesn't look like a drugstore foundation to me. Like this looks high quality. I would be surprised to see a bad review on this. So you heard it here. I recommend it. This is some good stuff. So that's gonna complete the video. If you guys wanna see Savannah around here, again, make sure you let us know in the comments. She needs positive reinforcement. She needs positive feedback. You know, okay. I like I like coming on here sometimes. She needs positive affirmations, love, care, affection. Talk to me in the comments if you guys plan on picking up this foundation. I kind of suggest it. I think you guys should get it. So if you plan on getting it, let me know. I like it. We Thumbs like it. Up. If you guys find that you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because I'm trying to get some numbers, okay? I'm trying to do it for me. Do it for we. Okay. Weast. Weast. Do it for us. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bricks, you look so good. Now you can be on camera and you become and be comfortable. And you smell so fresh. My subscribers were so nice to you. Ready? They, they were really gentle with you when it I came know, to that blush. Really <laughs> they were like, no, oh, sis. sis. Uh, I was like, go. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hello. Guys, he's a new man. Look at that side profile. Look at that jawline. Snatched, honey. Just beautiful. Yeah, just lay down. Right there, right there. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be reviewing this um, ColourPop foundation. <laughs> to introduce you. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you, Are you ready, ready, Mr. Krabs? No, can you feel it, Mr. Krabs? Can you feel it, Mr. Krabs? Okay. So yeah. Jeez, I'm trying to go get something to eat. I'm hungry. You what? <laughs> I'm hungry. This is Burke doing his uh, five hour check-in. As you can see, the lips are licked. I think, I think his makeup is holding up nicely. Look at that. Wow. Come on, highlight. Y'all don't know a nose highlight until you've seen Berkey's nose. Look at that.